Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Daily Puzzle, Friday the 13th, Freaky Friday. That's what the day is. We had two Freaky Fridays in a row, apparently, with February and March. And I only would have known that because I'm solving this this Daily Puzzle. So, go get it. Go get that Daily Puzzle and solve it. Let's do this thing. Hmm. Urasov Kalinowski, Urasov Kalinowski, St. Petersburg, 1880. Well, isn't that just special? Um, knight h6 check. First move I consider, and after king to h8. Follow up, follow up, follow up. Taking the rook on f8 is likely not possible in this kind of scenario because of because of checks and checks. For example, I think if uh, I think if knight h6 check and king h8, knight takes f8, queen to g2 check, king f4, queen to g5 is mate, and if king to h4, knight to f3 check, we'll end up winning the queen. So it's just good to eliminate the fact the the thought that okay we can't take that rook. Make sure we establish what our opponent is threatening, in addition to what you're threatening, right? Clarifies uh, the. Uh, the stakes. So knight to e7 check is also a move, but the king moves to f7. And where's the follow-up? Knight e7 check, king to f7. Hmm. Not exactly sure. The The thing I would like to play for is, is knight to h6 check, king to h8, and then something with knight f7 check, but... The rook takes it, and I see no follow-up. This is tough. Tough for me, anyway. What am I not considering? So there are 97 check, king f7, knight g5 check, king takes e7. There's just too many options there. Is there an option that I haven't considered yet that limits my opponent's resources? Queen to g5 check is the other check to consider, but I've been dismissing it due to the fact that queen g5 check f takes g5 doesn't seem to have any follow-up. Okay, that's it. All right, so the idea is that we have to change the um, the defense of the king side here before we have before we're presented with the the checkmate combination. These before we can execute our idea. So I just saw it, and the idea is a. Uh, Again, we have this uh, confused attraction. It sounds like that could be like a, a good movie. Not that kind of movie, all right? We're not talking about that. I'm talking about, you know, a movie about, you know, someone, you know, a coming of age in chess and their struggles to clarify the difference in tactics between decoy, deflection, and attraction. So, uh... <laughs> anyway, um, the I think this is actually a decoy. Because after queen to g5 check, f takes g5. We're not getting a tactic against the particular pawn, so it's not an attraction. And deflection normally implies you're sort of removing a defender. You're deflecting something away. In this case, but but in this case, maybe not. Maybe maybe uh, maybe it is a deflection. I don't know, but here's the idea. We're going to play queen to g5 check, and after he takes it, now knight h6 check puts the king on h8, which opens up the possibility for a knockout blow. Can you see it? Bishop to b2 check. Putting your bishop on the diagonal should be enough. So unless there's something after queen g5 check I'm missing with king f7, but I can assume that, you know, check on g7 and knight takes d6 is probably mate. So this looks to be, looks to be the right approach. And indeed, it was. Only a mate in four. For a Friday the 13th puzzle, I gotta say I'm a little disappointed. Um... Uh, maybe we're just used to some tougher puzzles on Fridays. But I, I definitely struggled with it. I mean, that said, I, I had trouble considering Queen to G5 at first, dismissing it in my head multiple times and looking at looking at ideas of checking with the Knights first and foremost, um, especially Knight H6 check because it only leaves one option for the King. But flipping the move order with Knight H6, King H8, and Queen G5, of course, is not possible because it's not check anymore. So too many options for black. Let's uh, let's ESPN Sports Center that thing, and uh, there you go. You're welcome. So 
All right, and that was the daily puzzle for Friday the 13th. We'll see you tomorrow for Saturday, likely the toughest puzzle of the week. Uh, normally it is, and uh, have fun. Enjoy your weekend.